Yes, Digital Product Family, hope you guys are well. Guys, we're back with a fantastic nuggets video. Not chicken nuggets, we're looking at golden nuggets today. I'm gonna give you some fantastic golden nuggets so that you're able to sell those fantastic digital products. But today, remember, this is part two of my two-part video, which I already went through. Uh, I'm gonna explain very quickly what I touched on last video because look, these two videos are absolute gold, right? You cannot miss these two videos because I'm going to show you exactly how you to do certain things to get those fantastic sales on Etsy. So it's really important that you stay right to the end and you see my other video. It's absolutely essential. And remember, this can this can be applied to any digital product, this process. So I'm going to give away a lot of my secrets, a lot of some fantastic tips. So please stay with me. But as usual, before I get going with this video, if you love digital products, love researching, creating, and all of that great, great stuff, then please hit the like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell. And don't forget to share, cause we love to share. I can't sing, but we love to share. Anyways, check this out. Now listen, last video, we identified, or should I say, I had identified looking at clip art, a really good niche, to, a sub niche to get into. Cause guys, look, as you must know, right? There are sub niches everywhere. In every niche, there are sub niches which you can get into, rank and sell fantastically well. And I've always shown you the evidence for that. Remember, it's a science, guys, okay? If you go and find the science, you will know what to do, okay? In this place, we don't do guesswork here, right? We don't do it. We just go straight into science, okay? So look, I identified that um, clip art, watercolor clip art that are the wizard, if you like, niche uh, is a pretty good one, okay? And then when you drill down even further within the wizard niche, you're looking at potions, you look at magic books and things like that, and those are even better. But obviously as a little collection bundle, they're fantastic for now. Remember, it's always at the time of doing this video because in a year's time, I don't want you to say to me, oh, but AJ, wizards, the wizard niche is a bit saturated. Listen, Etsy moves quickly. So you got to be real quick. Etsy gets busy, real busy. So you always got to be quick. When you see the video, what I'm going through, quickly do it. Quickly get listings up there, right? Don't wait, okay? Because the next trend's coming round the corner. Anyway, so for now, we're looking at clip art watercolor wizard, right? Long tail keyword. It's got results of 1,394, which is not too shabby, right? Pretty good. Something that you can rank in. And then last week, we looked at certain keywords, right? I'm, I'm not going to be long because it's in the last video. We looked at keywords that have really good scores. That means you can really get yourself ranking within those certain keywords in the wizard arena niche. Anyways, so... What I did last lesson, I showed you last lesson, <laughs> I said last lesson, last video, I showed you how to create in mid journey, right? A batch, right? Of bulk um, images, wizard images, right? So basically mid journey, I did like loads of prompts, put them together, check it out, right? And, and some people ask me this, how do you do the same style design, but do lots of it in mid journey? Well, I showed you this in the last video, so do check it out, okay? It's in the playlist, the clip art playlist. Check it, part two. Anyways, so what I did was I created all these designs using the same style. Now, listen to this, guys. Not only am I doing the wizard style, because Halloween's coming up, mm, I'm adding the ingredients because I've done my research already. And I know that Halloween clip art, because it's trending, because it's coming up, is something that people look for. So what I do is I add those fantastic ingredients, guys. It's like I'm getting eyes on my listing that everybody's going to see because I bring in angles and that's what you got to do. Like it's a scientific angle. What you got to do is you got to get eyes on your product through Halloween, through the wizards because it's unsaturated, through potions, through all the individual elements of the wizards. Mm, that's what you do. So that's what I'm doing. I'm mixed up a bit of wizardry with Halloween. That's my flavor right now. So that's what I've done. I've got owls with that Halloween flavor potions, right? And remember, all of these are in the same style. And I'll show you this in the last video, okay? Look at these. You know, I've got wizards. I've got uh, owls. I've got bats. I've got potions. 
I got magic books, I got ravens, I got hats, I got wands, I got houses like magic um, wizard homes, houses, I got gemstones, guys, I got everything. Anyways, so what I did was I upscaled a few of these because obviously you need to upscale these, so I upscaled it a little bit bigger. Um, but listen, guys, obviously, look, I'm not gonna, sh I'm gonna explain what I do, so just stay with me, right, on this one. So what I do is I upscale these. Don't forget, when you upscale and download these, the DPI is gonna be around 100, 120, right? I always say you need to upscale from mid-journey, right? You need that really amazing quality because some people use clip arts for different things, for bigger items, and you want the quality to be good. You want people to give you fantastic reviews, so you don't wanna let them down. So what I will say is always upscale. And the other thing I'll say with clip art is make them transparent. So make them, um, upscale them and make them transparent because that's what the demand is, okay? That's what I'm saying. So just keep that in mind um, after you download these from Mid Journey. Now, uh, what am I doing? Okay, so to do this, I'm not gonna go through all of this because it's gonna take a while, right? Um, what you need to do is you check out the links in my description for everything that I use, by the way. But if you go to something called My Designs, right? It's fantastic. The link is in my description. It will literally um, edit your, your clip art in bulk, like real quick, um, and also get it to be transparent, right? So it'll, it'll upscale it, and you can also edit it. Upscale and edit. That's what you can do on my designs. It's a really good one, and you know, I, I definitely recommend it. Link is in my description. Check it out if you're looking to do bulk and, ups and upscale in bulk as well, okay? So let's presume that is done and I've upscaled it say four times, 4X, right? 4X is not too bad, not too shabby. That's a decent amount of upscaling, okay? So I go back to my, um, I go back to my Discord and let's say I've downloaded these, right? I've downloaded a lot of these images that I like. So I've upscaled in mid journey, there you go. Upscaled, 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 blah, blah, blah. And then I've downloaded them, right? And then what I've done is gone to mid, uh, my designs and then forexed it ai'd upscale again and then um i've uh, edited the background so it's just pure um transparent remember check out my last video where i actually show you how to actually create clip arts in bulk don't forget that right so we're back into the next part now this is where i start using something else which i call um well let me just show you first of all let me just show you first so let's say I'm looking at these. I like to first of all scan and I like to see what, what is good. Like I'm looking at these images and I wanna say, look at myself and say, what would I click on out of all these wizard images? What would I personally click on, right? So I'll scan these, check them, look at what they write in the middle. Cause look, it's about clicking. People, when they look at this, this is the window to your, to your listing. When people look at your listing, you want them to click on it, look. You want them to see yours and think, okay, I like that. What is it that's attracting me to that, okay? Um, but I, I like science. I don't just look at what my visual, what my eyes are telling me because my eyes might be looking at something, but I might be wrong, right? I might be looking at this one on the right and thinking, hmm, that looks pretty good. And, you know, obviously I'm looking at the price and the reviews. You know, part of the process of when you're choosing something to click, you're looking at everything in front of you. And that includes... Um, the reviews, the price, if it's got a sale on it, if it's a star seller, if it's a bestseller, what the image looks like. There's a lot of information to take into account, but let's say we're basing it on just the image first, right? Let's say it's just the image I'm taking into account. So I look at all the image and most of these will have a few of the clip arts around it, around and a bit of writing in the middle, just to say what you're, what, what it is and, and how many you're getting, right? That's usually how it works. But I like science, guys. You know me, I'm an analyst. So what I do is I go to Everbee, right? And remember, guys, come on, you see in all my videos, I use Everbee. Every, Everbee is a fantastic SEO software where it allows me to look deep into things, whether it be checking if, if things, um, how many sales it's got, what the click-through rate, what the reviews are, everything. Check out Everbee. The link is in my description free access, try it out for free guys, it's amazing. Anyways, so like I said, science. I'm looking at, 
something that's making good money. So what I've done is I've actually sorted these wizard clip arts from the highest to the lowest, right? In terms of how much it's making. Now, I also look at listing age. I don't want something like really over three, four months old. I want it to be quite a young listing. And also I want the store to be, I guess, a maximum of six or seven months old. So relatively young store and listing, right? But making decent cash, right? I'm asking for a lot, <laughs> but but boy, I want a lot. So check it. I see these two. The first two are really um, catching my eye. This one, which is the Magic School Bundle. And then there's this one, which is the Wizard School. These two are catching my eye. You know why? Because they're making really good money. Look, $793, $635. For, that, for those two bundles. Not too shabby, guys. That's pretty damn good. And then look, listing age is five and then you got four, right? A five month listing and a four month listing. So that's all right. Favorites are decent. Look at the views. The views are pretty good as well. See, it's interesting because I can see where the categories are. So the top one is in art and collectibles. The second one is in craft supplies and tools, right? Six month age shop, both of them, which is good to see. But I tell you what, the the conversion rate, check this out. This one's a hundred, they're both pretty good conversion rates, 4.29 and 6.13. I'm going for the 6.13, right? I'm going for the 6.13 because that is, that's pretty hot, right? That's pretty hot, okay? So I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to go with that one. You know, they're both pretty, pretty good, guys. They're both pretty good. But I'm going with I'm going with that one. I'm going with that second one, right? I'll go with the second one. I'll go with that second one. It's pretty cool. So let me click on it, right? Let me look at it now. Now that I know the facts are, this is sold pretty well in a short amount of time. Okay, in a short amount of time. Now don't forget, if I'm also going to do this, uh, if I'm also going to do the 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 listing, I need to understand why this one is doing well because it is doing quite well. So then my study increases to other things, right? I start, and there you go. I start, and I've showed you this in the last video, to be honest, because this one is actually, till funny enough, the one that I looked at some of these keywords, which were interesting. So it's the same um, listing. Potion, see, that's decent. Witchcraft, wizardry, wizard school, magic school, one clip art. So there's a lot of these magic watercolor. There's a lot of these keywords that are doing quite well, right? That will help it rank as well. So you can see some of these are in the title and obviously you've got the tags. So this is going to help me when I create my listing on Etsy, the kind of things, information that I might need to include to help it rank. So not only am I trying to maximize on the quality of the, um, the listing, the images, right? But also I'm trying to maximize and understand what kind of things are included on a title and tags for something that is quite a young listing, right? Can you hear, can you see my thought process guys? This is the science now. So now that I understand this, I just want to have a very quick look at the, the first image and maybe I might look at the other images. All right, let's, let me just go down, sorry. So yes, it's a bestseller. We can see it's in demand. It's got a nice little video. I might do a little animation, a little animation video. Look, I like this. Do you know why I like it? It's giving me information. Videos are very important. Little slideshow, basically. It's nothing special. It's showing you, if you do a video, these are good things to include. You show somebody what you're including, okay? You show them all the clip arts that you're including. Now, this one has 100, 105 PNGs. I definitely would recommend, if you are going to sell clip arts, you do at least 100 if you're going to do a bundle. I think that goes a long way, especially if you're new to the game. The other thing is watercolor is quite popular, but obviously you got niche down further. And the wizards at the moment seems pretty good. Now, what I like about this is it also gives quite a bit of information, right? The information that it gives is it says it's transparent. Uh, it's a transparent background, which like I mentioned to you guys. And also in this case, it looks like it's 4,000 by 4,500 by 400,000 pixels, right? So that is also telling me that they've upscaled it as well, which is why I advised you at the beginning of the video. You got upscale, guys. And then literally the other images are filled with all the hundred images that they've they've created for the wizard, if you like, right? And that's it. That's what they've done with all the listings, okay? Um, but like I said, it's doing well. It's a bestseller. It's got a sale on it, which is pretty good. Um, it's in demand. 
So it works. It definitely works. But their main, like, main image, right, that is seen on Etsy listings, uh, on the Etsy search, their main image is this, which is lots of the, obviously, they haven't put all 105 there, which you don't have to because as long as you show it later, is good. And they all they've put is Wizard School Clip Art Set. And they put 105 PNG in the corner. You know, I, I think that's sufficient, right? But what I would personally do is I'll probably, uh, I would definitely show what they've done, where they've shown, because it's a really good listing, right? It's doing very well. They've also shown all the images, what they look like. But I've got a couple of additions where I'll show you, like real nice gems that do go a long way. So check this out. Now, I would definitely do my, um, do my listing, you know, do these image listings on Canva, yeah? Check out the links in my description. Um, so definitely do um, something in Canva, right? Um, let me just go back for a second. Okay, so I'm jumping on Canva right now. And listen, like I said, I'm gonna upload, um, I'm gonna upload some of these, uh, some of these, um, you know um images now don't forget you have to you have to make sure that you have already um you have to make sure that you have already upscaled them remember and uh, made sure they're transparent it doesn't really have it doesn't really matter so much for this for in terms of the the listing in terms of putting those um image listings because this is just to show the products but i'm saying when you're selling these uh, clip arts and you're you're putting it in a zip folder or you're putting you know whatever it is a link through Dropbox, a Google Drive, however you sell it, make sure that they're transparent and they're upscaled, right? And by forex, which is probably a good is a good amount, okay? Um, but in this case, obviously, I'm just doing my um, my um, mockups, image listing, and I just want to show what these images look like. So. In terms of the size for the image listing, it doesn't need to be upscaled really. It's sufficient because they're quite small. But what I would do is obviously I would um, I would look and just remember really because I want to use the same sort of methodology, if you like, as, as this one that works. Remember, so I'd kind of put images all around and maybe something in the middle just with a clip art set and just saying how many PNGs I would have. Like I said, I would like definitely make sure I have about 100 PNGs, you know. So I get back to my um, listing image and then I'll just literally all I need to do is just arrange these all around, you know, in a nice sort of way. Just have them all around, uh, you know, however you'd have it. And just, you know, just quite nice show that sh you're basically showcasing it's a showcase of all the images that you're gonna be selling um and that's it really and you know try and obviously make it in a really cool nice interesting way like i said you don't have to show all hundred <laughs> definitely not you don't you just do a selection you know do a few that you think will look quite nice quite cool um and and literally that's all you need because your other listings your other pages um all the other listing images should include what they will look like all of them so what i'll tend to do is when i add page in canva i'll put all the rest in what they're going to look like this is your first one your front one is really more of a like showing off some of the best ones that you're going to have in a in a nice interesting way um, like I said, size-wise doesn't really matter so much. Uh, I might have to remove background because some of these I don't want them to uh, to get in the way. You know, I might even have it like this. I'm not going to have a lot, but I like this image, so I'm going to make it slightly bigger. I might get rid of the background because it's it's going over one of the wizards, and I don't like that. <laughs> uh, I mean, I try to get away with not doing it, but I do have to do it. So I get magic uh, remover, my eraser. Get rid of that. See, look, and now when I overlay it, it's fine. It looks nice. I can overlay it, and it's not going to get in the way. Okay, go back to my uploads. What else have I got? I like the raven. Let me get that raven, man. That raven's kind of cool. Yeah, that little ra that raven. The raven probably need to get rid of the get rid of the background as well because it's overlaying on everything. Just quickly, 
using my eraser bg remover that's what i like about canva man so easy i might just do it like that you know do a lie easy easy uh, raven's kind of big though it's too big just make it smaller doesn't have to be that big i want a kind of focal point with with that maybe that all right and and you know to be honest you that's it you don't you're showcasing some of the images right not all of them and then what i want to do is i might say something like um um so wizardry wizardry school or something you know you don't have to overcomplicate it right you just get your text choose a heading yeah now what i like to do is i just want to even like with the visual i think it does definitely help you know when you look at certain keywords um i think certain keywords definitely can be useful so obviously the the kind of witchcraft wizardry um these are words that have a good um they're unsaturated so even on the front i think it's nice to put some of these unsaturated keywords in terms of on the image itself not only on the title and the tags but on the image as well i just i like to do that you know so i might say wizardry um wizardry magic school or something wizardry school let's have a look let's just go back on canva and let's uh do this so let's say um wizardry wizardry clip art i'm just going to say wizardry clip art collection right or actually bundle i'm going to say clip art bundle bundle of a hundred right obviously i want to look and see and make sure that the font is going to match because that definitely don't work i want to make it really like a like a wizard style uh wizard style or oh, it doesn't have to be a wizard style right let's have a look at some fonts so really just want to just have a look just scan the font see what might might be kind of might be cool might work quite nicely in terms of what you're trying to do uh da -da 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 -da. Mm, this is quite interesting i like this one yeah but i can't really read it i want them to be able to read it you want to be able to make sure it's legible too not just cool <laughs> imagine you're doing something that you can't even read so this is quite nice Gee, i lie that's quite nice let me make it small see how it looks it's actually quite nice uh i'll see what it looks like and then i'll decide okay let's have a look it's quite nice yeah it's all right but it's a bit in the way of all my clip art though these wizards guy they take so much space so it might be like this i could do i mean that that's quite oh that that could that could work nice and clear um and then i might just it's always nice to have the 100 png in a little circle people just love it like um you know they, they just like uh you know that that kind of clarity so i might just have something like uh i don't know it might be an orange one because it's going with a halloween wizard-esque theme so let me go there let me it's kind of orange anyway damn that's weird almost like knew what i wanted to do so click away not sure about that orange though it's very like i like it more more halloween -y orange come on where you at come on give me some color all right let's go to orangish yeah yes that's what i'm talking about you know so i might just leave it up there bring this down a piece leave that up there just just expand it i don't want to i don't want to like focus on it you know but i just want it just to be there and then i'll just do it where's my text heading 100 p and g reduce it go down to uh what should I go down to guys uh 40 click enter I knew it would be smaller than I wanted, but that's good. Because then it's going to be easy just to sort out. There you go. 
Honda PNG. Um, yeah, is that it? Let's do it in the bold style though. It's a bit too light. I mean, it doesn't. Like I said, nothing amazing. I'm not going over the top. What was it slab one? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I like that. That's okay. You know, you don't have to. Like I said, you're not going over the top. You're just kind of. You're just trying to literally make sure that it's clear. You know, I might even play around and change the font a bit. I might do, but it's all right. It's got that funky, funky look to it as well, right? And it's clear. Give me a sample telling me what we got. Let me just see this. Yeah, it's not too shabby, you know. I still could move around and do stuff like make stuff bigger. It's okay. That's all right. You could do that as well. And then all the other listings, I just simply just go to add page, right? And then what I'll do is on the other pages, I'll show all my 100 PNGs of what they look like because that's very important. Don't forget, you also need to add a video. I need to do a vid I need to do a video on a video. <laughs> I need to do a video on how to do a video. So if you want that, just just drop a comment in the in the drop a comment in the comment saying video if that makes sense. Anyways, um, the other thing I really like doing, and I think it goes a long way for conversion, right? I tell you something that really works, and I'll show it to you on an example of a listing I've got here. Right, so this is just like an uh, kind of editable doodle letter, which I've I've spoken about quite a lot. They're pretty good, but I like to do things like this, you know, on a tote bag, showing you on a t-shirt, showing you what the, you know, I like these kind of mock-ups, and I think they definitely do help and they go a long way because people get to see the clip art on different physical products. People like that, seeing the clip art in its environment. Okay, um, so I think they work quite well. I'll tell you what I did in mid-journey, actually. Let me just jump onto the mid-journey, guys. I'll show you something. I've actually done this already. I actually knocked this up just before I did the video. So let me just go to my Discord. And can you see, I just did like a tote bag, right? Because people like putting clip outs on tote bags. And pause the video when you want to see this. It's just mock-up, plain white tote bag, Halloween background. Remember, if I'm going to do something with that Halloween flavor, you want to do your mock-ups as also with that Halloween flavor. Look at this. I did this mock-up of this... Uh, this male model as well with the t-shirt white t-shirt is what i wanted really but with a sort of um again halloween sort of background pause it guys if you want to see that prompt so you can just copy it mock up plain white mug again halloween background so what i did was actually i've already done this as in um i uh i downloaded these so what i would do is i would tend to put the images onto the listing images what they look like and then I would do mo I would add pages and I would do mock-ups as well because I think they also look fantastic. So just just obviously just see if you can put all the images on, a f you know, because you only got a few listing images. You just got to make sure you, you can fit everything on there, right? So just kind of make sure. But I definitely w would like to put at least put at least one mock-up if you can. T-shirt, mug or tote bag. Um, so if I go to upload, I just want to show you very quickly. Let me just upload these files because I think I downloaded them already. You know, these you don't need to do any kind of upscaling because this is literally just a mock-up which you're going to have on your listing images. So let me just, I've just uploaded it now very quickly just to kind of uh, demonstrate how you do it. So literally, all you need to do is this. So let's say if you're going to use, um, if you're going to use this as your mock-up, let's say, your t-shirt. Now some people like to just show the t-shirt itself. like So you can expand it. Remember, it's just going to take the actual the the actual listing so you might actually do it like this which is nice because you your focus is on i like the focus to be on the design not on the model and also you got all the halloween stuff in the background so what i'll tend to do is i'll tend to do something like this where i'll get the image uh i'll delete the background yeah and then i'd I'd have that design almost like as if you got a design on your on on here so you've got a mock-up a bit like this um, I might add another page just I'm just showing you a demo really um, where's the tote bag I like the tote bag tote bag look quite good though look at that Oof, that looks so cool so literally you know you put your image okay and then um, yeah I like these owls actually the owl looks cool what about these bats yeah this is nice you know and even this potion um but which one am i gonna have guys there's so much choice actually i like the bats yeah i like the bats 
let me get rid of that background so I can just keep it on the tote bag erase the background very quickly um, and that's it there you go I got the bats with the with the images there uh, you know quite nice might need to adjust the color as well what's good as well as well you could uh, if I go to image edit photo you know there's there's a there's a few things that you could do even on Canva just to kind of work on getting the color right so you could do things like auto adjust so can you see I've just clicked auto adjust and auto adjust kind of tries to fit it with the background somehow you know um, the other thing I want to gonna very quickly just try out let me where is it mug I like the mug it's got a nice little pumpkin in the background now the good thing about canva is you can always i mean sorry mid journey so if i go back to mid journey just for a second right so for example say this one i um i, I chose yeah because remember i just upscaled some of these right where is it where is it at man oh here we go yeah so i did these right obviously um, you can always regenerate so if I click regenerate which I just did now it's gonna give me another four what it's gonna produce should do right now come on come on come on mid journey I know you're quick but come on there you go four so they're gonna produce another four when you regenerate if you don't like an image you don't have to stick to it that's what I like about mid journey you can check out other ones and maybe some other image might look even better. Like I like like this one on the left actually is looking. I can already tell. Sometimes it does funky random stuff. Like look, it put a face on that on the mug for no reason to even ask for it. And then look, it's putting weird. St look at that. Like shh, don't know what it is, sugar or whatever. Look at that. Like I don't want all that flaky stuff on it. So actually, I'm not going to choose any of these. But what I'm saying is, when you regenerate, sometimes you get other designs, or sometimes it can look different and sometimes better than what you've chosen so like i said regenerate but this one's sufficient so i get the let me get up i like that potion no 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 the magic book yeah the magic book man i gotta use that somehow edit the photo go to remove image yeah it looks quite nice actually man that looks funky as that looks pretty funky let me just click away yeah look at that off vibrant probably needs a little bit of work but you know what it's sufficient it's good enough sometimes you can adjust if you go to um if i click the image just to show you i can go to edit and then i can go to sometimes what i do i manually adjust so it might be temperature the tint i might go contrast i might vibrant saturation you know, if I really want to go into a lot of detail, then I'll go deep into it and I'll start playing around with the colors. Just if I want to get it as closely matched with the background so it looks even more realistic. But this is fantastic. Look, these these look really cool. Look at this one. This this actually looks really good. This one. That looks really, really cool. Like it looks like it's actually on the t-shirt itself. Look at that. That's amazing. I like that a lot. So what I'm saying is you get to... The customer gets to see it in its environment, you know? Um, that's what you're trying to do. And then literally all you need to do is just download it and put it up on Etsy, guys. And that will be all your mock-ups, your, your image listings ready to go. And then obviously get all your clip arts, your actual images that have been upscaled. Um, and then you've uh, deleted the backgrounds. You've got them transparent backgrounds and then ready to go. Um, put a link on a PDF whether it be from Dropbox, Google Drive, or however you do it, guys, that's it. Get your title written up. And remember, when you get your title, make sure that you're using certain keywords, right? Certain keywords. And remember, make sure that you're including the keywords and the tags that are unsaturated. We've already identified that, and we've identified some of those good keywords that have really good keyword score, like these ones at the bottom, and make sure that you include them. And you can see... You know, in some of these, what I would probably do is I would tend to include things like potion because that's a good keyword score. Definitely wizard school. You can see that the title on this listing is wizard school, which is a good one. I would tend to probably use other good ones like potion and other things. Try and cram in some of those. Look, ah, you have got potion. They have got potion. It is there. Yeah. So just use those. And remember, 100, at least 100 PNGs if you're doing clip art. And guys, that's what you need to do. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
if you did enjoy the video guys i hope you hit the like subscribe smash the notification bell don't forget to check out part one of this video this is part two definitely check it out remember check out everbe also link is in my description that actually helps you find those uh those um um ranked find those uh watercolor which will help you find those fantastic um selling uh clip arts or whatever digital product you're looking at i mean this is fantastic it actually shows me exactly how old the listing are the store age what categories are in what visibility score and conversion rate all that information actually helps you and like i said it's a science right so we need to get all the information so that we're able to it informs us to create our own product guys Anyways, like I said, hit like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. Don't forget to check out my videos. Check out all the links in my description. And I shall see you on the next video. Take care.